Ambro, que isso não é o apa? O que é o apa? After Tinubu recorded an address to Nigerians, they were expected to stay off the streets. The president had ordered them to go home while refusing to meet their demands. It's as if the president's speech has angered Nigerians the more and awakened more vigor and energy to continue with the protest. The protest has moved from end bad government chant and snowball to a military takeover chant. Something is happening in northern Nigeria and it seems that revolution is about to happen in this country. Of course, it's always been said that revolution will start from the north. The protest in the north has overwhelmed security forces, thereby leading to curfew being imposed in some states in the north. However, residents in the affected states, they are defying the curfew and still going out on the streets to protest. A different kind of protest is happening in the north like in Kano and Kaduna states where the youth are displaying a Russian flag. They went as far as telling the military to overthrow President Bola Mertinibu and take over power. I can tell you this is not just an ordinary chant. Something is brewing up. We will come back to that. But let me tell you something that has happened in far away Bangladesh that has sent Tinibu panicking. For over a month now, they've been protests in Bangladesh, and this protest has forced the military to take over. Just like Nigeria, the youth in Bangladesh had taken to the streets to protest against quotas in government job. Nigerians are protesting against bad government, hunger, insecurity, but the situation in Bangladesh is quite different as they have a more stable economy than Nigeria. Theirs is about the quotas in government job, more like a federal character that we have in Nigeria. This had led to the death of over 150 persons while thousands were injured last month. On Sunday alone, 100 persons were killed as protesters calling for the resignation of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina clashed with security forces and supporters of the ruling party. The protest which was carried out by students in Bangladesh intensified as they barricaded the residence of the Prime Minister, forcing her to flee away from the country in a helicopter. This has led to the military taking over and they've met with opposition leaders on ways to stabilize the country. Scared of what protests have done in Bangladesh and the flagrant display of Russian flags and the call for the military takeover in northern part of the country, Tinibu was forced to cancel the federal executive meeting that was scheduled to hold on Monday and immediately summon an emergency security meeting. Yes, same Tinibu doing the wrong thing over and over again. What he needs is a federal executive meeting to address the concerns of protesters who have refused to leave the streets. From what is happening in the north, a military coup is imminent. We must salute the audacity of the Northerners in this protest. They've given this protest a new dimension which is making the presidency to fret. They've taken this protest to a whole new level and Nigeria will never remain the same anymore. Whether it is for good or bad, we wait to see the outcome of this protest. Don't take the Northerners displaying the Russian flag for granted. These guys know what they are doing. They listen to BBC Hausa, DW Hausa, and they know what is happening in Niger, Mali, Burkina Faso, and in some other African countries, especially that has to do with military junta. Displaying that flag and asking the military to overthrow Bola Medinibu is to draw the attention of the presidency, of which they have done so. As it stands now, 
things have gotten out of control. Bola Tinibu cannot control what he's experiencing now. The best time for him to stop this protest was when it wanted to start. The second best time was when he did that recorded address to Nigerians. All he would have done was to listen to the demands of Nigerians and address them before or even during the protest. But Bola Tinibu is inconsiderate insensitive and that is going to cost him a lot. He will go down in history as someone that oversaw the destruction of Nigeria and her economy. It is quite unfortunate that Bola Tinibu has taken the trophy away from President Muhammadu Buhari as the worst president that this country has ever heard, just being in one year in office. In Jos, the protest has been peaceful as Prophet Isa Ebuba has coordinated the protest in a peaceful manner. But as you can see, the youth, they are going erratic against the military. It seems the military is about to stop them from protesting, but they are insisting on continuing with their protest. This is the reason why they are arguing with the military. As it stands now, the Nigerian security forces, they are completely overwhelmed. <laughs> In Kaduna stayed in a surprising manner. Protesters were seen taking over police armor tank. This is crazy. I have never seen this level of audacity before. The Northerners, they are in another level. <laughs> The protest in Bayasa has intensified despite the warning from Asari Dokubo warning the people not to bring that protest in the Niger Delta. It seems that Asari Dokubo has calmed the federal government because he is nowhere to be found. The people went to the street to protest and they were protesting to the government house. As the day break, the protests keep getting more and more interesting. We are going to see how Bola Metinibu is going to handle this protest. Is he going to send the military on the people? to kill, to destroy, to decimate Nigerians on the street, how many persons will he kill? How many will the DSS arrest? Because as it stands, the Nigerian youth, they are not ready to leave the street until their demands are met. I'm going to leave you with videos of protests in different parts of the country. Enjoy. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the 6th of End Bad Government Protests. Or let me say, Tinibu must go or overthrow Tinibu protests. Thank you for watching.
stand by. Okay?